However much work we do in the city, the first thing that people often say to me is, oh, you're the place in Clifton, you're the place at the top of the hill, sometimes followed by, I've never been there, kind of what's it like? And so I think just moving into a different part of the city gives us an opportunity to kind of reset a lot of those relationships. One of our key design challenges is to make the campus feel welcoming, accessible, inclusive, particularly at ground level because we want people to walk through, enjoy, partner with us on our campus, in our campus, and for us to reach out and partner with our surrounding communities. We're expecting lots of people to be passing through. And I think there are a number of things that we need to get right about that. One of which is, how do we make the building look sort of visibly open from the outside? So you walk past and it looks like somewhere that you want to come. And then our hope is that the ground floor of the building itself will be open access and will be part of the kind of civic space of that area. So people get used to coming to exhibitions, events, workshops there, taking part in the life of the university. Making things as easy to access as possible and everything to be as open plan as possible is a really big part of people feeling that a landscape belongs to them. I think there needs to be as many spaces as possible where people can just sit without pressure to buy a coffee or to be there for a particular reason. The big exciting things for me that are different are how do we create a kind of brokering space on campus where communities come in and feel that this is their space too and they're part of all the conversations that happen there, so they're part of the research we do. We're also looking at how we can employ people differently, so how can we recruit a broader range of people from the local community to come and work with us. One of the things we're working on at the moment is an idea that we've called Twilight Temple Quarter. So if you look back at the history of the University of Bristol, one of the things it used to do is offer a lot of kind of night classes to local people. And we want to reinvent that tradition for the 21st century. So picture the Temple Court to campus at six o'clock on a weekday evening, or maybe you know, during the daytime on a Saturday. And we're saying to local people, what do you want to be happening there during that time? And our hope is that the kind of activities might include some courses that we'll put on as a university, maybe a flexible undergraduate degree, which we're hoping to develop there, but also that we'll then work with other providers in the city, so some of the further education colleges to offer courses, that we might offer uh, English for speakers of other languages, which will bring a whole range of different communities into the campus. And then you might have yoga classes, language classes, which are for local people, but where the students on site might be wanting to come to those courses too. So you get a completely different kind of community in the classroom.